Okay, I'm just marking where the uh, line of feathers are for the underside of the uh, wing using the uh, 3D pen print that I made. Like I did on the other one. Time to play with some play. Alright, it's time for me to start the uh, wing on the opposite side, the left side of the eagle, and um, doing exactly what I did last time. I spent this morning studying the texture of the eagle's body and uh, because I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this and make it look like a dream eagle instead of a real eagle and I think I got an idea of what I'm going to do but I'm not certain quite yet exactly how I'm going to do it. I got an idea in my mind what I'm going to do, but I don't know how it's going to look in real reality. And so I'm going to just wait till I get done with the two wings to attempt my vision that I have in my brain. I had to do very little texturing on the other side of the uh, wing because now I can attach the uh, wing to the uh, body of the uh, warrior. Okay, I've got to fill in behind the wing. So that it looks like it uh, blends in and I'm going to fill in back in here as well. I got an idea of what I'm going to do and I don't know how exactly I'm going to do it. <sighs> Before I do the head, I've got to do everything else. The head's going to be the last thing I do. This old tool of mine, which has been repaired a couple of times, is the tool I'm going to use, but i got to clean it because it's covered in clay. And I don't want to mix clay with the uh, plastiline clay with uh, the... Uh, I guess it's monster clay? I can't remember. Yeah. Monster clay. <clears throat> it's not good to uh, mix clays. All right, this clay tool is going to take a little cleaning here. And I've got to find my cloth. There it is. I use a flame because uh, the plastiline clay, like monster clay melts in in heat and uh, that cleans that uh, tool and then I'm going to clean the handle as well I had this uh, wire break on the uh, break loose from the handle 
years ago. And it was a good tool. I didn't want to lose it. And the only way I could save it was by gluing the brass collar that broke loose and then using fast steel, which is a putty, to, uh, whoop, that's hot, which is uh, a putty that hardens just like steel. And it's kept it on there for years. You got to have a rag that you can throw away because this really messes up the rag. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. I don't know if it's coming across well, but I kind of like it. This uh, monster clay really lends itself to uh, doing this while it's still soft. Okay, this will make or break it.
I gotta cut this out. That lump kind of wasn't. All right, that's gonna have to do it for today. Tomorrow, I'll tackle the head of the eagle, and then I'll do the hands and the forearms of the uh, warrior. I hope I'm not overdoing this. I hope it's not stupid. But it is what it is. We'll see how it turns out. All right, good night, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.